Welcome to your market update charts of the day. It's Friday, the 26th of April, 2024. Mike Smith, senior analyst. To lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Lots coming across the news wires today and likely to continue to be the case over the next 12 hours or so. It was a soft session in the US overnight, as expected, after Meta underperformed on earnings. We also had weak GDP and Q on Q PCE data a little warm, dragging on sentiment. Uh, although we did see stocks close near the highs of the session, even though all of the major indices were slightly negative. Then we had some earnings released after the bell, as is always the case with big tech stocks. Microsoft and Google beat expectations and may reverse those losses. Uh, Google are up in excess of 11% in after hours trading Microsoft around 5% of the upside. However, we do have the PCE year on year data, which is the more important number out tonight. And the BOJ rate decision is due with the important press conference later on this afternoon. That could significantly influence yen crosses. So really worth taking that into account in your decision making. We could see rapid movements, particularly if they intimate, there may be some yen intervention in the pipeline. US futures are up in trading today with those uh, NASDAQ futures more than 1% positive on the back of those earnings. Asian markets recovered from some of yesterday's losses. The Hang Seng still outperforms. The ASX was shut, of course, yesterday. So 1.25% to the downside really haven't moved very much since the opening selling. European futures are pointing to a higher open simply because, of course, the US continued to go up after the European markets closed yesterday. US dollar index looked weak again. It's fairly near neutral in Asia today, but it's a gold edged higher after that big drop earlier in the week. Copper remains very bullish, testing two year highs right now, and bias still look as though they're in with some move to the upside in Asia also. All edged up remains in a range in Bitcoin, still trading around about that 65,000 level in what has been a very choppy week. We did have some Australian PPI numbers, which probably hasn't enthused the ASX very much. They were slightly warm, but that US year on year PCE and consumer sentiment out later and the BOJ rate decision and press conference all have significant market moving potential. And so today should be considered high risk. A couple of charts at Core RI. Uh, we're going to start with Mesoblast. You can see it's pushing hard up against this 95 level. Uh, this was a big move up on FDA approval. We've been talking about this regularly over the last couple of weeks since we had this pullback. A really nice bounce off 75 up to 95 and potential for moving higher, of course. If it does so, then technically on the weekly chart, it looks as though possibly a move up to around this 112 level could be on the cards that would take us back into a range that we're in for the first half of 2023. On the euro yen, we can see the yen is looking weak and the euro has broken through a level that it was testing. This is in the last hour. Uh, so we're now at 167.40 and look as though we could uh, be up for a 42 pip to move to the upside as a minimum if this continues. Uh, you can look at that 15 minute chart. You can see it's been the last two 15 minute bars that have pushed us up significantly around about 50 pips at this stage. Uh, so looks as though we're going to see continued yen weakness. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.